guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sophie. I'm so happy to be back and filming. I took a little break because, you know, I don't know, something new happened. Um, I got engaged. So today I thought I would just do a little like get ready with me chit chat. I'm going to start with my Adri Wine Concealer. I love this stuff. It's just perfect for every day, you know? Got to cover, oh, I should probably pin these back. I keep um, cutting my bangs more and more. And one day I'm going to have full fringe going on. That's what's going to happen. So I'm just covering the areas I have the most discoloration, which is under my eyes, my lip, and my chin. And then I have this little fringe today. They decided to show up without any notice. <laughs> so it was Monday morning and Blake, I was awake because he told me what time I needed to be ready by. And it was 10 o'clock, which isn't that early, but I know we had to drive like 20 minutes away. Okay, I'm sorry if you hear noises. It's my cats, which we'll talk about a little later. But yeah, Blake told me the night before I had to be ready by 10 a.m. I kind of knew it was happening I just didn't know the details because like you know when it's gonna happen right and we drove to only Montana and we show up and it's like the road is called I think it was dog run road so I kind of knew what was happening <laughs> and we pull up 150 dogs on this one property the gentleman's name was whiskey I highly doubt it's his real name, but yeah, they got the dog sleds ready. I wrote down all like our sled dogs names and took pictures of all of them. So that's cute to remember. I'm going to add some Dior backstage foundation. Now they say you're supposed to apply this with your fingers and I'm going to try that. Let's warm it up a little bit. So yeah, Whiskey took us on a sled ride for about an hour. It was beautiful and sunny, which it's actually been really gray and kind of overcast all winter long, which is normal for Montana. But we lucked out and got a beautiful sunny day. I forgot my sunglasses, but I obviously had done my makeup before and I was like, crap, my makeup's gonna be ruined. Like, that's gonna suck. But actually, it stayed on pretty well. The only thing that really was mess messed up was mascara. You know when it gets wet and then it, like, freezes together? That's the only thing that happened. But my liquid eyeliner and the glitter stayed on really well, which was nice. Children. Get out of the closet. <sighs> Anyways, once the ride was over, we were just petting all the dogs, um... And giving them compliments because they did such a good job and then Blake got down on one knee and asked me to make him as happy as the sled dogs and I was like oh, yeah and I kind of knew it was coming so I wasn't sure how I was gonna react but I cried I did it was cute um, what made it so special is I've always wanted to go dog sledding I grew up and Balto was like my favorite movie of all time. I had a chocolate lab Tootsie who used to pull me on my sled when I was little. Okay, these cats! Do you want to stay in or you want to come out? But anyways, Blake made it a really special day and a really special memory and I'm so so happy. And he did such a good job designing the ring. Um, it's tourmaline if you're wondering. Gold band with some detail. I love it. And these cats. Anyways, back to makeup. I have this new bronzer and blush by Kylie, Pink Dreams, and Khaki Bronzer. So I'm going to put those on. I haven't shown you guys these yet. I have been really liking this bronzer, though. The one I usually use is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and it just kind of looks yellow on me. I don't know. Um, this one's not as yellow. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the cat the new cat, the new child. Um, I'm going to pop up a video of him right here with Alistair. He's still pretty shy, so I don't 
like to just grab him when he doesn't want to be pet or held or anything like that. So Blake was at work and this couple was needed to rent a car and they had this cat with him and Blake was like, what, what's going on? And they were moving um, and they were on their way actually to the shelter to drop off the cat. He's only seven months old, so he's more like a kitten. Don't even get me started on people who abandon their animals because they're moving. <laughs> I mean... Blake said that like they weren't allowed to have cats, but we also kind of know someone that's not supposed to have cats in their apartment, and now they have two. So yeah, Blake Snapchatted me, called me, and was like, can I bring him home? Can I bring him home? He's all neutered, has all his shots, like, you know, we didn't have to pay for anything extra, and I was like, I mean, you did just give me a ring, so I guess you can bring another cat home. <laughs> so short hairs aren't my favorite, and I'm allergic by the way. Um, and he's a tabby cat, which also isn't like my favorite design of cat. That's not a thing. Um, breed of cat. <laughs> but he is, I mean, he's cute. He's cute. And Alistair is obsessed. I've always wanted to get Alistair a friend. And they're literally playing right now. Hi, Napoleon, come here. As I was saying, Alistair is absolutely obsessed with him. He pretty much just grooms him all day. And the kitten is also like in love with Alistair. He only eats if Alistair has eaten from the bowl first and then he like walks over, takes that bowl and then Alistair will move to a different one. Um, but like he'll only eat or drink if Alistair has been there first. <laughs> and he, d he likes me now, like he'll come up and let me hold him and pet him. He's still pretty shy about Blake. Um, the first whole day he was hiding under the furniture, which I just get like really, like I just want the animals to feel like they're loved so I was like really upset and I was like it's not gonna work out, like he hates it, but now I'm attached and like he loves me so that's all that really matters. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will see him soon on this channel. His name's Napoleon by the way, or Neo for short. But yeah, let's get back to makeup. So I'm gonna use the KVD pencil. So this is, sorry the cats are jumping everywhere, this is Kat Von D's old brand she sold her shares and they're now calling it kvd i think it's something vegan beauty i'll pop it up on the screen but i've actually been using this pencil for a while and i really like it but i don't like kat von d so i don't really share it that much she had this whole drama with jeffree star which i'm sure you've seen she was also really outspoken about being anti-vax which I mean, just keep it to yourself, sweetie. Just keep it to yourself. But it is a really good pencil for like a quick everyday brow. I mean, you can just see it just filled it in a little bit. It's cute. So yeah, I'm excited to see where this brand goes in the future because some of her products I like. I like her brow products. Her eyeliner's not bad, um, but like some of it absolutely is trash. Like, absolute trash. Like, the highlighters um, from a couple years ago were just, they were glitter, but just, they weren't cute. They weren't cute at all. Alright, the brows are fluffy, and we're going to go into some eyeshadow. Taking the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Stick in the shade Cashmere Robe is the matte shade, and Penthouse Sweet is the shimmer shade. One of my best friends got me this because she saw I really wanted it. I posted this on my Instagram story. And I've been wearing it every single day since I got it. It's absolutely perfection. I forgot to mention about the cat. So I don't know if you guys knew about the other cat that I rescued, Dobby, who's now um, our neighbors have her. Um, she hated Alistair, despised her. She was 12 years old, so it was like she already knew what she wanted. She also wanted to be outside, which like I can't have with Alistair. So the neighbors have her. They love her. I see her every once in a while. Obsessed. But yeah, that little thing happened right before we were going on vacation to Florida and literally Blake brings home this kitten and we leave for Arizona uh, this upcoming Saturday. 
like, why does it always happen right before vacation? Like, hello? I'm also just taking a brush and blending um, the matte liquid side in. But yeah, I don't know why we always rescue cats right before we're leaving. Luckily, I have the best cat sitter ever. She's really chill and, I mean, it doesn't take much to watch a cat, to be honest, but Alistair is pretty needy, like, he needs a lot of pets. And I'm hoping with this new kitten, he'll be a little less stressed and more happy when we're gone because he won't be as lonely all day. Also to blend in this matte shadow, I like taking my compact powder I use for my face and brushing it around the edges. So yeah, hopefully Napoleon and Alistair are okay when we're gone on vac vacation. We haven't been back to Arizona since we moved. It's been like a year and a half or maybe a little longer. So I'm excited to check out, my sister has a new house, my best friend has a new apartment, my aunt has a new place. So it's gonna be fun and exciting to see everyone and everything that's new. Also, I haven't seen my brother's kid. He's not a baby anymore. I saw him when he was a baby, but I'm excited to hang out with him and get to know his personality a little bit. And then my brother's wife's also pregnant with a girl. So cute. I'm so happy about that. Okay, I'm just taking the shimmer glitter shot. Okay, I'm just taking the glitter shimmer side and putting that over the lid. Okay, so that's what the stick looks like on the eye. Super cute, perfect for every day. Sometimes I just do the matte shadow and I'm like, great, good to go, walk out the door. But today I'm going to add a little bit, this is from the Naked Heat palette, the mini one. I'm just going to add these two darker shades to the outer corner. Now one thing to know if you are layering with this matte um, eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow, they don't blend the best. So I wouldn't recommend using it as a base because it dries matte. It's not sticky. So like other shadows aren't going to lay on top that well. Well, do you guys have any plans for Valentine's Day? We're literally, Valentine's Day is Friday and we're leaving Saturday, so I don't think we're gonna do anything because I'm just gonna be busy packing and like cleaning the house before I go. I love cleaning before vacation because I like to come home to a clean house. It's like my favorite thing. I'm just gonna add my mascara. Love this stuff. It's so good. It's the last sensational by Maybelline. I mean, just look at the difference. Just look, just look at it. And you know what else I'm excited for Arizona? A tan. Like I don't, I, I like being pale, don't get me wrong, but I'm like next level pale, okay? So I need to see a little bit of sunshine. <sighs> Another brand I don't particularly love um is Too Faced but I got this mini one from Sephora like the $500 gift set thing and it's kind of cute and it smells like peaches I like it it's a shade sex on the peach okay I see you it's a cute everyday lip it perfectly matches candy k which I have in a liquid lipstick as well, but I don't have in a cream, so this is nice because it's just a little bit more comfortable. So that's the makeup so far, but when I do a natural makeup, I just like love to be really glowy. So I'm gonna take Lancome Glow S Subtle Silky Cream Highlight Glowing Lights 06 is what this called. What this is called. It's a little bronzy for me, so I like to put it where my bronzer is up here. And then for my skin tone, I'm gonna use 100% pure fruit pigmented satin. It's an eyeshadow, but it looks like this. And it is pretty as an eyeshadow. I've used it as that before, but I love it as a cream highlight. Can you see that? So cute. Little on the nose. Let's take out our fringe. 
as you guys know, I cut this fringe myself, so it's not like perfect, but I think it frames my face well. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to cut my hair off again this summer. Here's what it looks like all down. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut my hair short again this summer. I don't know. I love my short hair. Some people like it long. What do you guys think? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this chit chat. Get ready with me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment down below. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.